All right, now uh, let's look at this quick one. Uh, the president this morning on some of the newspapers assured that uh, the double intake is the best way to deal with what we're facing now, the quagmire we find ourselves with the free senior high school program. Don't forget that the Conference of Heads of Private Second Cycle Schools uh, raised concerns from uh, the initial stages when the program was uh, started that get us on board. We have spaces. Uh, they were ignored. Now we find ourselves here with a double intake uh, staring at us. Exactly how can private second cycle schools play a part in what we're facing now? My guest is the public relations officer of the uh, Conference of Heads of Private Second Cycle Schools, Natalie Cheba. For good morning. Good morning. Sir. Hope you're doing great. Ah, oh, Mother Grace. Let's start from here. So this is where we are. Private second cycle schools did not or were not part of the free senior high school program. Now we're talking about a double intake. You you think that you can have a role to play here? Thank you very much, Bright. Uh, let me say a very big good morning to all your viewers. Mm. Just as you rightly said, when this whole policy started unfolding, we, we, we equally we decided to make input because we foresaw some of these replications. Right. And we felt that um, if we should include the private sector, as far as the educational sector is concerned, it to be, it is, it's quite prudent to do that. Because this whole double intake or double track system if, if, if I get it right, it's as a result of the number, the excesses we have, the 180,000 candidates. Let's do a very simple mathematics here. Mm. We have 946 senior high schools that participated in the last WASC, 946. Out of the 946, we have 696 that is for public schools. So they benefited from the free SHS. Mm. If my mathematics or my arithmetic is right, it means you have 250 schools left. So definitely these 250 schools are private schools, private schools. minimum. Now, we, this, all the schools have the capacity to absorb a minimum of 500 students. So if we should multiply 500 by 250, we are getting 125,000. Which means government's headache of 180,000 is almost solved. Somehow resolved. Some of us have the capacity to absorb more than 500, even 1,000. Gone were the days prior to the introduction of free SHS. Candidates, about 1,000, were being posted into our respective schools and were able to contain them. So if we should post like 1,000 to some schools that have the facility to absorb them, it means we can even absorb more than the 180,000. Would there be a need for any double track system? You see, the focus here, and sometimes what baffles us is that almost all the sectors that government is trying to excel, is working in tandem with various private sectors. It is happening in agriculture. It is happening in uh, 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 is it planting for food and jobs, uh, in, in health, NHIS. It is happening in one district, one factory, one village, one dam. Almost all the other sectors, government is trying to work with private sectors. What we're saying is very simple. We have the facilities already. Mm. Gone were the days that government used to absorb only, there was a peg, there was a cutoff point. Some had grades six, sometimes to like 24. And those who had grades beyond that particular cutoff point, where were they? Those were the moment that private school was, was seriously in operation where all those candidates were absorbed. So we were not really feeling those excesses. When we were part of the computer school selection and placement system, when candidates were being placed to us, placed to us, and it, it's unfortunate that this whole turnaround came when the free SHS was introduced. Nothing has changed. We believe that instead of going to park students in various public schools, when we have the facilities, let's sit and discuss. L let's talk about this issue because it, it looks like government's concern is about the, the cost of the free senior high school. Is it a commitment? Has government been told that private second cycle schools can, will take the exact amount that government is paying for these public uh, uh, schools, students in public schools? Right, you know, these were the concerns and issues we raised in our petition, mm. stated categorically. That for example, if you take like, like day, 
if government is, has earmarked 500 cities for a for child, a student. it is the same amount we are taking. You see, where we have a little bit of challenge mostly has to do with the boarding. And that's why we need to sit and discuss. Because probably our services may be quite different from that of government. Even that, we have to sit and discuss. So we come to a consensus with government and know that if there is any form of an addition that needs to be done, probably, if, for example, government, can you imagine government, uh, if, 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 if I'm right, in various public schools, I'm told that they are paying 1,200 for boarding. Per student. Per student. In private schools, you are paying 1,500. What is the difference? 300 cities. 300 Ghana cities. So the parent decide that I really want a private school, which means that government has earmarked 1,200. If the parent so desires the various services that is being rendered, the parent can decide to add just 300 to enjoy those extra services. Those who decide that I just want to move with a normal train, you still pay the same thousand two. And that's a commitment. This is what we have stated to government. And it was done even before the, the policy was enrolled. You see, this is, is sometimes we feel that let us try to give opportunity to stakeholders as far as policies are concerned. Have you? What, what, what is it that you've been uh, talking to government? What is it that you've, you've been told? We feel fundamentally, um, government has the, the, the plan, the vision, probably did it without considering private school in the first place. That is what I see, to be honest, that we're not really considered at the initial stage. So now trying to uh, uh, bring in private school has, has now become a, a different thing altogether. I was thinking that, fine, mm. probably the first year of its introduction, uh, we're not part or we're not considered. Now we have we, we, we brought our petition even before it was introduced. Well, I was expecting government to sit, analyze the various I mean, issues we have raised, the concerns we have raised, mm. and let us see how it can be very impactful. If government had taken cognizance of the issues we raised, I have no doubt we wouldn't have resorted to the water system. If, if a deputy minister of education, uh, for instance, says that there's no place for private second cycle schools in, in the whole free senior uh, uh, high school project. Is it a matter that suggests that then uh, it's, it's a closure and that government will go without y y your people? As, as, uh, when I heard it, uh, my heart was broken because I feel that, you see, the kind of issues we are raising, it is equally what we are equally foreseeing as well, also as stakeholders who are, who, are, who are in the system. And we believe that it is not in any way trying to struggle with government, no. The power belongs to government undoubtedly. But when you feel you have the edge that you can, you can contribute to the development of your state, because this is what you have been doing all this while, and you have the means to do it without any other ulterior motive, mm -hmm. and you are being denied, sometimes it's, 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 quite, uh, it's quite unfortunate. I feel it's not too late. So, so the best thing is to petition. That's that's the best you can do from what you just said. Which we have done. Which you have done several times. Several times, of course. In the Had first meetings instance, with them. you didn't get any results. Is there hope if, that if my you memory get a says me right, we have we have met them no less than three times. Is there proud hope to the time? introduction? Is there hope this time? I am I am now seeing that probably with with this idea of not trying to resort to double track system if they sh if they, they decide to consider our earlier petition i am sure i am very sure undoubtedly that probably we don't need to enter into that september is just around the corner we're just wrapping up uh, july so with august and then september the double track is starting how sure are you that you get that listening year you're talking about it is not too late one thing is honestly i believe that this government is a listening government because you have been made to believe so more especially when the government is more uh, uh, private sector oriented mm. that is what we are made to believe so i have no doubt i mean undoubtedly i feel that um one way or the other the government can do something the government should do something. It is going to save all of us. You see, let us sit. I think desperate moment requires desperate measures. But I don't see this moment as desperate. 
You, you understand? Desperation sets in when you feel there is no better alternative. In the absence of the best, you consider the worst. But I believe that there is something better. There is a better alternative. Why don't we rather consider that? So that we save ourselves. See, right, one thing is that we, wrap up we already have 10,000 teaching staff already in existence. But the private... Private, school. and we are paying them. You now want to employ 8,000 and pay them. Whilst we have 10,000 already, we are paying. You are not going to pay. Yours is pay, earmark a child. Then we do the payment of our teachers. This is to help government. I wonder what is really making it quite difficult. I'm grateful. Now, Teliche Bafo is the public relations officer of the Conference of Heads of uh, Private Second Cycle Schools. It's a debate that will continue. You can share uh, in it, uh, go to our social media platforms. Certainly, this conversation will continue. Stay with us right here. We're uh, pausing for a second. Well, we'll come back. Nana Kuya Fre has all the weekend sports for you. Stay there.